always raise it, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know why you always sit there. It's so much harder for you to do it. Live. Hi guys! Hey, yeah. we are live. <laughs> <laughs> this was like totally last minute. So I was working out, working out, and tomorrow we are having our first official show of 2020. That's right. Yeah, we haven't done that. That's so right. we've been really doing a shitty job at this podcast and the show. But uh, tomorrow is going to be our first show, and we were going to post it on Instagram or whatever. But we were having a conversation. I said, you know what? Let's just have that conversation right here. now Let's and stop working. Out. This is officially the first show of 2020. So right. happy New Year, guys! Happy New Year. Uh, we're recording this for the YouTube also, uh, so it'll be on the internet. Um, one of the things, before we get into tomorrow's show, we're going to have special guests on tomorrow's show. So excited. But one of the things that we were just talking about today was how many questions she gets on cooking and her food choices and, and whether people ask uh, because it's regarding the contest prep stuff or not. And uh, you know what I think is cool? That you can see our feet. <laughs> We're like really here. Oh my god. That's right. But anyway, so weird. one of the things that people ask her a lot about is her foods. Because while when we plan her eating, uh, there's a lot of flexibility and I do give her the opportunity to eat just about anything. And, and we've talked about that several times. Uh, she does make the food look pretty. So. And tastes really good. And it does it's taste really key. good. It's key. I love to eat, so there's you no should not be You should not be eating food that doesn't taste good. Agreed. But one of the things that we decided to do today... Well, no. It wasn't today. What? That we decided to do the... the no. Class. No. We've no. been talking about doing this for Since a while. Since we moved into this location that we've right. had the kitchen. We've been talking about... So, at our gym, if you didn't know, we have a kitchen. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of the reasons that we took this spot was to use the kitchen. And... We haven't used it for what we wanted to use it yet, but because of all of the inquiries, we are finally going to use it. So we are going to invite uh, five or six, uh, yeah. I don't know how many people fit, we'll keep it small five or six men. people, yeah. uh, no charge, uh, to come in uh, to the gym, into the kitchen here, and she is going to take you through some of the recipes or some of the things that she preps. Some of the everyday uh, stuff. One of the things that, that is going to help anybody who comes is how fast she gets a lot of it done. Uh, it's not just how delicious it is or how good it is, it's how fast and how easy mm -hmm. it is to make a lot of things that she makes. And on my side, um, how easy it is to make all of this stuff fit into anybody's uh, meal plan. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So uh, so we're going to have a cooking workshop workshop or class or because a lot of times you're right people do say that they're like that looks so good but you must have all this time to make stuff like he makes fun of me all the time because he'll like let stuff cook for a while and i'm just like how yeah. fast can this go <laughs> like, i'm prepping something it's gonna be a lot it's gonna like, chop stuff up no i chop stuff up you but do. i put the stove on like medium high yeah, i want He's, things like, to simmer and yeah, i'm like oh to my god later. <laughs> i'm always going fast right. so the stuff that I make for the most part, unless it's like not meant to be, you know, for everyday stuff, if it's like an elaborate Christmas dinner, it's usually fast. It's usually like 15 minutes. Right. It's so, so for the most part, like she has gotten a lot of inquiries about it and we are going to uh, bring a couple people in and she'll take you through how she makes it, how she preps it. We'll record it and, and, and we'll share it, share it somewhere um, on the internet. And... I think that what we want to do is a couple of those yeah. uh, this year yeah. um, so that people we'll could actually, I think that what I want the most out of this is the tasting part Yeah. Um, because I think that so many people think that if you're dieting, your food has to be bland mm -hmm. and it's got to taste like crap and that's just not true. Uh, not. I think that the more you can enjoy your food, uh, the more likely you are to to, to, to eat, eat it. it and look forward to it. Exactly. And the other thing, the other misconception is not just that it has to be bland. That's definitely one of them. 
The other one is, well, I don't really know how to cook, or I'm not really a good cook. Like, I'm not a cook. Like, you just got to... But you don't need to have, like, skills, you know? Like, a lot of this stuff is just so easy to put together. You don't need to know how to cook to put a lot of this stuff together. It's so simple. Uh, and I think a lot of times that's why people eat the bland food, because they don't think they have the time or the skills to put together a really good meal. Right. And I, you really don't need either one. So that was one of the things that we were just talking about. So yes. we are not sure what day it's going to be, but it's going to be soon because we'd rather do it sooner than later. So it's going to be on a weekend. Uh, it's be on a weekend. It'll be a Saturday or a Sunday after one of the classes. Mm -hmm. um, if you're interested, uh, let us know. Um, again, I think we have like five or six chairs, so that's why it's like five or six people. Yeah. Uh, and there, it's not like we can fit 30 people in the kitchen. Um, so we'll send out the invites to the people that are interested and. And once we have uh, the date, whoever wants to come, like let us know ahead of time so that we know to let you know. Yeah. Um, and we'll go from there. So that's one of the things that we've mapped out for 2020 that we are going to be doing. I'm so excited. It's going to be great. Yes. Uh, what else did we talk about that we were going to have for 2020? Well, definitely like more of our podcasts and our show. We do want to bring on more of the, the people that come participate. In, in our stuff, whether it be people that are contest prepping, people that yeah. are getting ready to compete, or, or just members of our gym yeah. um, that have, have had um, any kind of transformation, whether yeah. that be a weight loss one, or a fitness one, or a health one. Yeah. Um, we've had plenty of people that, that come in and, and they just feel better, you know, they, they just come to de stress. You know, not everything that we do is about weight loss. Right. Uh, so, but I think that. If you can hear those stories firsthand yeah. from those people, um, it's going to help yeah. maybe like get that's, the message out a little that's bit. That's really why we do it. I mean, at the end of the day, we're all on our phones, we're all listening to something, watching something, might as well, um, at least we try to listen and watch things that are gonna enhance our everyday life. But if you can listen to someone's story and someone's journey and connect with it on some level, it just gives you a whole new perspective. Everyone yeah. thinks the gym and the eating, it's all about you know looking skinny or having abs or getting on stage, but it's so not, you know, sometimes it's just de-stressing from work. Sometimes it's things that change you internally that like fix the relationships around you and, and the way that you go through everyday life. So it's a lot bigger than just a physical transformation and depending on who's sharing their journey, it connects differently with different people. So that's why we love the idea of having different people come on the show. So if you are a part of what we do, even if you're shy, please let us know that you'd like to be on. I, we will be asking some people. We're going to ask you either way. Yes, we uh, are. But just in case, I just wanted to throw it out there. Right, but case. if you're ready to share your story, yes. uh, if you're watching this and you've had uh, something, uh, whether it be a weight loss uh, transformation or physical one or, or any kind, uh, yeah. and you would like to share that, let us know. Yes. Uh, we will gladly have you on the show and share that with as many people as possible. Yeah. Uh, because at the end of the day, it's it's a lot easier for for people to relate to somebody that's going through something similar, um, and hear that story firsthand, and for us to say, oh, so and so came in, we helped them yeah. lose whatever twenty pounds, yeah. and you know they had never worked out before, and whatever. It's a lot easier to hear it firsthand. Yeah, it doesn't matter how many pictures we put on the wall. It doesn't it's matter the story. It doesn't matter how many pictures. You know, there's there's. It's funny because. <laughs> You know, I, I think that a lot of times people come in and they see, like, the before and after pictures. And if we had 100 pictures, you'd be like, oh, you know, if you had 99 pictures, you'd be like, well, if you had 100 pictures, you know, that would be different. But if you only have 99, then I don't really know if you could help me. So, that's an inside joke. From who? From me. It's an inside joke. Who are you inside joking with? I'm like, am I supposed to get that? Did I forget? Sure. I have the worst memory. Yeah. All right. So but you're right. You're yeah. right. You're right about pictures. I agree yeah. with that. The before and afters are great. It's yes. great for people to see them. It's great for people to see people like them. But it is even better yes. for people to hear the story firsthand. Because when people are in a situation, that's what we've noticed too. It's easy to look at a picture and be like, well, they probably don't have kids. Or they probably are under 40. Or they probably don't work or work from home or have more time or have support. Whatever it is someone is lacking for their own journey, they think that the person who was able to accomplish it doesn't have that same issue or some other issues, right. Right? right? So that's why the story is so powerful right. because the picture just shows the beginning and the end. It doesn't show all the in between. So, so we're going to share more of those. We're going to share more of those. Uh, we are also 
going to be sharing a lot more of the people that are going to be competing this year. Yeah. Um, our team for Orlando uh, is pretty big already, and okay. there are a lot of different people on that team uh, with a lot of different starting points and a lot of different stories. So we are excited to share those transformations because those transformations are more than just about getting to the stage. It's so much more. who those people are going to become yes. during the process and during the journey of getting to the stage. Uh, so we are looking forward to sharing more of that. Mm -hmm. um, we are looking forward to doing more impromptu episodes like this like one. Like this one. What, you know, a lot of times we're trying to plan it, like, oh, let's let's do this, this on day, Monday. This day, this time. And we have a, you know, a, a 15 minute window sometimes where yeah. we can do this really quick. Here or in the car. Exactly, like the car one was great. Like, yeah, I know, that was fun. Yeah. So, but I think that the delay over the last couple of months has been trying to structure the right time yeah. and blocking out 45 minutes to an hour mm -hmm. uh, instead of just coming on and talking. Yeah. We have uh, our retreat that we're planning this week. We are planning a retreat. We've been planning uh, that for a long we've time. We've been planning the retreat for a while, and the retreat is going to be an opportunity to, I guess, kind of live the life, right? Yeah. Uh, it's going to be like a it's weekend, so much fun. a weekend of fitness and and food and again. food and, and honestly just that lifestyle. Like yeah. it'll start Friday afternoon, obviously with a workout, um, oh and then we'll do some. Uh, we're going to probably get an Airbnb where yeah. everybody can stay together. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll for the do, weekend. For the weekend, we'll do some evening uh, food prepping. Uh, we'll start Saturday with another workout, uh, do a little grocery tour. Mm -hmm. We'll do um, some mindset stuff to yeah. make sure that everybody's on the same page. Yeah. We've uh, been planning this literally for years. Right, but you get to see what you know the whole day yeah. looks like through the weekend. Yeah, the whole weekend. The whole weekend. Um, mm -hmm. Food prepping. Grocery shopping, like all of it. Like, what's it? What's it really yeah. like? Yeah. yeah. Not not just a glimpse of it, but you know, twenty four yeah, hours. First hand. First yeah, hand. So we're gonna do you know again, five or six or ten people depending on, on the size of the group that's interested. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna do that. Uh, I'd like to do one a quarter. Um, so we'll probably do like three or four this year. Yeah. Uh, and we'll have the dates for that soon. Yes. What else have we got? And they'll all be here in South Florida. They will all be here in South Florida. Local. Local. You know. For now. Since we're doing impromptu, and you said what else we got, I had this idea when you were just talking about um, the stage. So everyone thinks that it takes like a special type of person, or you need to be super fit or dedicated or whatever it is to get on stage, and it's really not the case. Um, we actually love taking people for the first time through that process, especially people who don't think that they can do it, like me. Years ago, I was like, there's no way I could ever do that. Like, that's not for me. So if you have like the slightest bit of curiosity, let us know. But where I was going was, I we've talked about um, creating an experience kind of like the stage for the people who are not yet ready to get on stage. Um, some sort of transformation and journey that ends in a photo shoot. Okay, yeah, we did talk about that. We talked about that. And um, we need to iron out some details, but I didn't want to throw it out there because I wonder, I know even the photo shoot can be like nerve wracking. I remember my first one, I was freaking out. I didn't even want him in there, but there are so many ways to create that journey and that experience that don't necessarily involve the stage. Obviously there's nothing like the stage. It's a big over the top, complete transformation inside and out. But I do think that a photo shoot sometimes somebody's not ready for the stage, but they are ready to do something that's out of their comfort zone. And it could be a photo shoot here or a photo shoot somewhere else. I really think that um, it'd be awesome to have a group of people who want to go through that journey and, and experience that. We've talked about that a, a couple times throughout the years, actually. Yeah. And I think that the reason that those yes. things work is because there is a deadline and a timeline. Yes. We set a date, and it's like, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna, like for example, our team that's competing in Orlando is having a photo shoot here at our gym in May. Yes. There is already a date set for that. You know, so there is a date, 18th, I think. there is a deadline, there is a timeline, yes. and that is what makes people uh, stay accountable because yes. that time is coming. Yes. Um, and unlike other goals and other things that may not keep you accountable or hold you accountable, or you might say, you know what, whatever, I'll just, I'll just start again. Like that date is going to come no matter what. So. And it's enough of a, a big thing to get you to commit. 
um, to get you out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. If we have a group, then we can do the same thing that we do with our competition teams. We have a group chat. People stay accountable. People yeah. kind of have that experience. Yeah, if you're interested, let us know. Yeah, and uh, plan out outfits and plan out makeup. It's really such a fun process. And I think that a lot of people that don't necessarily want to get on stage, maybe yet, would really love that. So let us know what you think. Um, we have a couple things going on at the gym. Uh, we are getting ready to do our first fit ranks of the quarter. Yeah. Um, we want to make sure that everybody who's ready to level up, level up is going to level up. Level ones, level twos, level threes, level fours. Mm -hmm. um, so if you are not sure where you fit or where you are, let me know. I will uh, explain how that works. Um, what else? Did we, did are they going to work out after dark? Yes. <laughs> I hadn't discussed this. I'm like, I hope this doesn't get me in trouble. I, but what else is new? <laughs> I have discussed this. And here is the thing. So workout after dark. If if you don't know, you're about to know. So about five years ago, someone's we here. had someone's here. <laughs> about you might see someone walk through That's the okay. door. We're That's gonna make okay. this quick. We're gonna keep going. About five years ago, we had our first boot camp after dark. And basically it was a Friday night, eight, nine o'clock. Uh, we turned off all the lights in the gym. Uh, everybody put on neon. Sorry. It's very loud. Everybody put on neon colors. We hired a DJ. Yes. And we worked out like if it was a club. Yes. And then party. We, it was Fog, a party. Fog. Everything. It was an envision going out on Friday night yeah, to the yeah. club, uh, but everybody came to work out. Yes. Now, we did a bunch of them. We had a white party. We had an '80s party. We did a costume one. We did a pink and black one. We did a neon, like we had a bunch. And then last year we had our first one at this new location. Uh, we did the white party again because that one was so good and we had a ton of success. Yes. And then we got excited and said, next month we're doing it again. <laughs> and then where'd everybody go? Oh, we moved it to Saturday and that didn't work out. Yeah, because I think people come straight from work on Friday and they're used to it. Whatever work. the case might be, 2020, workout after dark is back. I will have the dates for you. It yeah. will be in this quarter. Q1. I am saying live. It's such a good time. Yeah. It's, and so many people haven't experienced it yet. So many people haven't experienced it. So cool. Out after dark. I'm gonna post, like it. I'm going to post a video of some of the other ones on this page so you get to see it. Yes. Uh, but Workout After Dark is happening. Uh, if not next month, it will be in March. Yeah. Uh, but the sooner that we do it, the better because I like to make it happen quick. Yeah. Uh, it might happen this week. <laughs> no, it's not this week. Um, but, but it is happening. And I think that that is going to wrap up yeah, today's we, show. We so, ramble, but we have uh, time. cooking show, if you're interested, let us know. If you want to do a photo shoot and you're interested, let us know. If you're interested in the retreat, let us know. And we're going to have to coming. Look for the details on that. Good job. Boom. Good recap. And now we're going to teach. We got yes. a quad flex today. We are ready. Three classes. Bye guys. Peace out guys. Domino. Mm -hmm. How do you end this?